Okay, we looked at A and B in the first video. Now we're going to look at C. And just a reminder, the question is, how far above, how far above B, what, uh, how far above B must you go so that this delta P, this change in pressure from B to C, is the same as the change in pressure from A to B? Okay, so clearly, just just uh, intuitively, you would know that this has to be much larger, a much longer distance from B to C than from A to B, because water is just has a much higher density. Okay. All right. So, how are we going to do this? Well, it might not be that obvious, but let me draw this again. So, if there's point A. And there's point B, and then there's point C. We know that delta P between B and C has to be the same as your delta P, or change in pressure between A and B. Okay, and we know that this is 0.15 meters. Okay, so it might not be um, immediately obvious, but in order for there to be the same change in pressure between A and B and B and C, then if we assume that there is this column of air and then you've got this column of water so there's air and there's water then if it's to be the same change in pressure uh, in these two columns then this column of air the mass of this air over there must be the same as the mass of the water the mass over here must be the same as the mass over there. Okay? So that is the assumption that we are making. Okay? For there to be the same change in pressure. And we know that mass, we just looked at it now. Mass is equal to density times volume. And we did this whole, whole thing here, which is equal to density times area times height. Um, that's what we were looking at. Um, so it's density times area times height. Okay. So, if the mass over here is the same as the mass over there, then we can say that the mass of the air is equal to the mass of the water. Mass of the air is then equal to density of the air times the cross-sectional area of this column of air times the height, h, from b to c. There's b and there's c. And this is equal to the density of water times the area of that column, which is the same as the area over there, multiplied by the height from a to b. Okay. What are we looking for? We're looking for this height here, H, B, C. What is the height from above B so that the change in pressure from B to C is the same as the change in pressure from A to B? Okay. So H, B, C is then simply, and by the way, these areas can just cancel, is equal to the height of A, B, multiplied by the density of water divided by the density of air. Okay, so this is equal to 0.15 and the density of water was uh, 1 times 10 to the 5 and density of air was 1.2. Right? So, the answer then becomes this 125 meters 1.25 times 10 to the 2 right so let's just think about this now the this is 150 millimeters it's not even it's it's not even a meter but this is 125 meters from b to c so you need to move you need to increase your height by 125 meters in air to get the same change in pressure as you do in 150 millimeters of water. 
Okay. All right. Thanks. Cheers.